came back here uh, after I finished the military. So I've been here since 2001. Uh, this I learned a lot in uh, different restaurants that I worked at. And then uh, a lot of like trial and error myself. And then I did a stage in uh, Napa Valley at a place called the Fatted Calf and kind of learned a little bit more and understood a little more what I'm doing. Yeah, and then Italian food is, you know, it's like close to me. It's Mediterranean. Mm -hmm. It's very similar to flavors that we use back home in Israel. Obviously not the same spices, but um, kind of the same approach to food. Very simple, you know, good, good product. Uh, not messed around with too much. And the cavatellis are uh, dough that we make out of ricotta cheese. There's a little bit of milk, some eggs. Then the sauce of the cavatelli is gonna be a sausage that we make in-house from, from that pig that we were butchering. We grind it with some garlic and uh, salt and black pepper. Not too much flavor because we don't want to overshadow the the truffles. Then we add truffles in here and we have a little bit of vegetable stock and some uh, porcini stock that we add into here. So porcini and black truffles. Um, then we just wait for the pasta to be ready. And we just boil this in salt water. And we wait for it to rise. When it rises, it's ready. And then we add it to the sauce. The sauce here is uh, basically, we want to reduce it to get the full, full flavor. Then we add the pasta into the sauce. And we finish it with the uh, Parmesan cheese. I have the truffles in the back. And I poach it in olive oil with uh, garlic and thyme and a little bit of anchovy. A little Parmesan. And then we toss it a little bit. Very rustic. boiling the gnocchi. I boil it before service and then here I try to make it crispy. So it's not a soft gnocchi, it's a crispy gnocchi. Pour flour, milk and spin it. A little salt, pepper. Then I wait for it to crisp up. When it's crispy, we take the marrow this is going to be the bed of gnocchi under the marrow and then we slide the marrow on top of the gnocchi and that's that's your dish and so we add a little butter just a little bit we don't use too much butter here we use more olive oil a mix of different cheese. Okay, so we use a little Malden. This is uh, salt from um, England. And then we put a little aged balsamic. This balsamic is aged for 15 years to add, add some acidity and some sweetness. You pour it on the pasta and you mix it around. So every, every bite you get some of that marrow oh and that's the pasta